Hey Moglets, it's God Mode time. Sadly, no farming montage this time as I kind of accidentally farmed everything already and we just need a couple more of these. So I saved the last Electronid run. Let's do that real quick. There we go, should be enough. Final star, here we go. We also have enough books, thankfully. And there she is, level 90, all right. Let's check out them stats real quick before we get into her build. Currently she has 21, 68 attack. Uh, 67 crit, 89 crit damage, the ratio is a little, little weird there. 317 energy recharge, which I think is a little too much actually, but also 130 electro damage bonus. Some pretty wacky stats, I gotta say. So I've been learning a lot about her build. Um, I started with Emblem of Severed Fate. We are going to stick with Emblem of Severed Fate. When it comes to the Sands, attack is going to give her more overall damage, a little bit though. She gets a lot of bonus from having a lot of energy recharge, so so she'll have almost the same damage with an energy recharge sands, plus of course 51.8 more energy. However, if you're going for an energy recharge sands, then it's generally recommended to go for an attack percent goblet over an electro damage goblet. As you can see, I'm going energy recharge and electro damage bonus, which I think is still okay. But the thing is, I already have so much energy recharge, we're at 317%. So I think I could definitely uh, sacrifice the energy recharge sands to go for attack and then I can just keep the electro damage bonus because this electro damage bonus goblet is actually quite good. Whereas I don't have any good attack goblets and this is on the right set too. I also do already have an okay attack sands as well on the same set. So I think that's what we're going to stick with. I mean now we have five piece emblems so we can swap something out for something better. Like this circlet, for example, with its 21 crit damage and 10 energy recharge. So those stats still look pretty good to me. We, our crit rate to crit damage is a little bit better. 266 energy I think is plenty. 2450 attack, nice amount of attack, and still that 130 Electra, that's, that's wrong. I don't think that has been updated, so we're back out on the field so we can see some updated stats. Yeah, now we have 113 Electra damage bonus, 50 crit rate, 102 crit damage. All right, everything has been updated. Still that nice 2450 attack. All right, I think she's ready though. As for weapons, naturally we're going engulfing lightning. There are some pretty good other options though, including this new fishing event we have where you can get the catch for free at R5. That's a really good option for her. I have not started that event yet, so I can't even really show you, but yeah. So honestly, the catch is gonna be your next best bet. I mean, some of the other five star spears. I think even Staff of Homa is pretty good, but I mean, she has no way to keep herself under half HP, so. Eh. So ultimately, I would aim for 2 to 250 energy recharge. I think 320, was it? Almost? It's a little overkill. So, um, so I just went ahead and went for attack. Oh yeah, there's another thing I have to do. We have to defeat the weekly boss to get, you know, uh, her talents past 6 a little bit here. I'm just gonna go for her burst. So if we get like 2, we'll get it up to 8. If we get 3, we'll get like, uh, E to 7, this to 8. Still C0. Haven't totally decided yet if I'm going to try and get her C2. So as far as team is concerned, I haven't really thought about it too much, but unfortunately I've heard Beto is not going to pair very well with her. Raiden Shogun's attack count as ultimate damage and that messes something up with her. I will of course be taking Binny and Zhongli. Fourth spot. Guess we're just gonna stick with water, dude. <laughs> That's my typical team. Hello there. I've I've only fought in her once before, so I'm not I'm not totally sure how she works yet. That's obviously not good. I think we have to kill those little things over here as well to get rid of sheer cold it looks like. Use elemental reactions to break through. All right, let's just do everything I guess. Okay, we have to go get those pyro crystal flies. If I can kill this thing. Oh, it exploded. Is there another one? It's like in Dragon Spine. All right, let's see here. Ow, just gonna start with Benny boost. Um, I don't know, let's just go ahead and do that. And let's see what she can do. Wow. 20k? Was that... What even was that? Oh, she's doing like 15k with one one attack. That was pretty crazy. It was a little hard to see though, so we're gonna have to try that again. Maybe I'll just ignore burning to death. We have Binny boost. We can heal a bit with that. Well, she's almost dead now, so I'm not gonna w waste the ult. All right, what do we got? Three, three, three. Yes, three. And an attack sands. All right, poggers. Oh no, we didn't get any of these. Why are we so unlucky? Whatever, this is what I have them for, I guess. <laughs> I mean, you could you have given me one, dude. All right, let's go. Hopefully we have enough books. I think we're good. So let's get her ult up to eight. 
That'll require choir two for nine, so yeah. All right, here we go. So we're done with the finishing touches. She is about as good as I can make her right now. There is another thing I wanted to try, and that is using Raiden Shogun with Eula for Superconduct. I think that'd be really, really nice. Since I never really raised Fischl, she would be a really good contender for that. So we'll try that a little bit later as well, but for now, I guess we're just gonna go with my typical team. Let's just start with some daily quests as usual, though, you know, <laughs> it always goes by too fast to really see anything. Let's just take a look at the E damage first. 4,000 almost. Wow, that's actually crazy for a passive damage. Yeah, like 4,000 just from the E. Oh, well now it's 3,300 because, oh no, it's still 3,800. Oh yeah, because we have Zhongli's shield back now. That's actually really impressive by itself, honestly. We have our first quest here on one of the new islands, protecting the Leyline Monument, or Monolith. I think we're more or less ready to try her burst again. I didn't see anything. Wow, though. That was some crazy charge attack numbers. It feels like her ult does not last seven seconds, to be honest, but I'm going to try it before we're actually at, like, full. Was that 104? I didn't think there'd be that much of a difference from, you know, 70 to 90, because we didn't change much else with her. Swapped around a little bit of the artifacts, I guess. We weren't even at full stacks that time, but I guess it might be actually lower overall DPS if you're going to try and get the full stacks every time. So... Might be better just to go for good enough, like, you know, cycling everyone's ult once and then just going ahead. Felonious floaters. Do we have to... Yeah, we have to fight some of these new enemies. Just start with her E straight away and see what we are at when we do everyone's uh, burst once. And then ending with Binnie's, so we have Binny boost for... Uh, Raiden Shogun. What are we at? Yeah, we're at about three-fourths, it, it looks like, so let's go ahead and start this. Yeah, that was only a 52k for whatever reason. Maybe it didn't crit. I didn't see. And now we don't have Binny Boost since we have to go back over here. And she's still hitting for 10k on the basics. I'm already super surprised at her damage output. On floor 11, Pyro and Cryo are increased. So she's not going to be the best here, obviously. So my team is a lot different now since I needed some of the others in the first half. So I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work, but we're going to give it a try. Um... Okay, that's actually not good to start. <laughs> Two Electros. Let's just go ahead and start with uh, Mona Burst. Maybe Binny Burst. I don't know. Sure, let's do Ayaka Burst. Oh, these are the only two enemies? Yeah, okay. I don't even know then. We, we can do her E real quick. Yeah. Chamber 11 is not the best place to test her, but we have to do Chamber 11 to get to Chamber 12. All right, let's go ahead and try some stuff here. Just do this. Let's... Oh, what? They're all dead? Oh, and now she doesn't have her burst. And now it doesn't matter because he doesn't take damage. Only his shield does. Man. Still three started, I guess. Oh, look at that. That's pretty pog. <laughs> uh, I don't know how that works, but I'll take whatever just happened there. Was that... What, who towed 120k charged? Okay. She does still have Shimanawa set, but I was still kind of surprised by that. And then the Pyro Hippo. I'm probably going to die here, actually, if I make one mistake with Mona. Well, I didn't make a mistake, so cool. Let's just go ahead and try, I guess. Ooh, we got a 17k basics. There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ, I forgot about this part. I'm not going to get all three of them. Oh, I think I did. Cool. Uh, we have, like, no no boosts now, unfortunately. Let's just use all, all their bursts real quick, I guess. Oh, yeah, but then he's just going to die. <laughs> well, that wasn't very good, but at least we can go to Chamber 12 now. As far as I remember, the team setup doesn't really matter that much here. Uh, there are no special enemies you need specific units for. I actually kind of liked this team, so we're going to go with it again for first half. So yeah, I'm just going to do everyone's ult once. It oh, I forgot to do her E! I'm so dumb! So she has no stacks right now. Obviously, she's not doing any damage. Bro, really? Well, thankfully, they all get their burst back pretty quick, so it's not that big of a deal. Oh, wait. This has the high tide, low tide crap. I have to pay attention to that, I guess. Okay, high tide has begun. Let's just try and get Benny's ult back real quick. And then we're gonna go to Raiden Shogun and start it up. This crap, unfortunately, takes so long, though. Mona died, what? I hate this first floor with these double samurais. I might need, like, Vinti here to quickly get rid of, like, the first three. All right, let's try this again. 
Yeah, that was 160k. Okay, no, that probably was 5,000s, but still. Oh no! Hurry up! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Oh, nice! If you don't kill them together, they'll heal a bunch, the other one that's still alive. That wasn't so bad, but I think we're running kind of low on time now. Oh no, we're at 8.30, which I think is fine, because uh, the first chamber takes longer than the second one, as far as I remember. That was kind of close still, but we got it. And yeah, for me anyway, I'm not sure why, but the first chamber is the hardest of floor 12. Okay, high tide. Let's just go ahead and do all their bursts. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> well, there's a 115. Ayaka is a little hurting right now, so we're just going to go ahead and do her burst while we stand in Binny Ring. Alright, back to Shogun. I don't think we have full stacks, but it's alright. Um, I guess we should focus more on the... Uh, mages since we can't do much to the electro guy here oh no the, the water my god we'll have like a minute 10 ah this is magu kinky as well okay oh that was close did we even get it yeah okay we had like five seconds left i guess attack plus 40 or skill damage plus 20 let's go attack plus 40 yolo class cannon time no i need to do her well i think her e is still active so whatever Oh no! Well, can we do it without Ayaka? Let's give it a try. 125, let's go. Ooh, and all these guys are just standing here. That's nice. 22k charged. I don't know if we can do this without Ayaka, but we're gonna try just for fun, I guess. Oh yeah, these guys do so much damage though. It's insane. 137 from the initial and then she does so much damage while in burst mode also you know it's crazy like just that initial hit of her burst is definitely ult level damage and then you know she does the rest all right here we go here we go here we go hurry up get the ult back ah uh, it was no critical would have been a nice critical we might have enough time to three star i just realized we don't even have a healer here <laughs> Guess we don't really need it with, with, with Zhongli. Yeah, plenty of time left, 35 seconds. Why is the first chamber the hardest? So man, that's pretty crazy. When I was first like playing with her and, and looking at her skills and everything, I was like, I was thinking she's more of a support than even a sub DPS, but she is definitely like crazy, crazy numbers. Plus of course, all the battery uh, advantages. She's a, she is an insane character for sure. But yeah, there is still another thing I wanted to try. And that is with Eula. This does kind of suck though, because unfortunately my Binny is C6 and, you know. Well, I mean, we could still use them, I guess. Eula's burst won't go into fire damage, will it? Yeah, we'll just do a quick little one boss showcase with uh, the Eula Shogun combo, because I kind of figure it'll work how I think it does, but, you know, I just want to see the little intricacies of it. So, of course, we're going to start with Raiden E here. You know, we can go to. Binny boy, go Eula. Obviously, he is super conducted now, which is poggers, and will continue to get super conducted just all the time because of those E's procking up, you know, forever. Go ahead and start doing some burst here. You know, let's just go ahead and try. Oh, wait, now I can't see if it's gonna. I mean, yeah, it works really nice. I still want to see if her burst. I, I, don't, I don't think her burst would. Why did I grab that? I don't need these. All right, I gotta try something. Hold on. Please don't just kill them. All right. No, it's still physical damage. I just wanted to make totally sure. So she could still work for her burst at least, I guess. I could also give her a pyro cup. No, that wouldn't work. No matter how I try and look at it, it's not ideal. Genshin, please allow us to turn off Binny C6. Also, someone wanted me to try seven second boss runs. I'm not too sure if that's gonna work, honestly, unless they're like super weak enemies. We can try that, but the seven seconds only count once I do her ult. So basically kill the boss before you know, her ult runs out. All right, unfortunately, we don't we don't have Mona's burst, which would be kind of important, but can you switch? All right. Oh. Okay, she she basically one-shotted him, which, I don't know, he, he, mu he must have had some damage on him already, but, you know, you can't really do damage to the Regis Vine without them being down, so I figured that would be the time to actually start it. I didn't think it would be that fast. We can try Child. I guess this uh, one burst kill would only be during his final form or something. We can just prepare up until then. Alright, let's give this a try. 
So she, so her ult unfortunately isn't full yet, so we kind of have to do everyone's burst still. So he's going to be close to half dead. Yeah, now he's half dead. Okay, that's just going to probably... Oh, what the hell is... Oh, he has a bunch of electro resistance. Hurry up. No. Ah, we're going to... I don't know. I couldn't see any physical attacks. Maybe I saw a pyro one, though, from Benny. Whatever. He... That's not fair, because he has a bunch of electro resistance. Let's go ahead and grab this. Not that we really need this stuff that much anymore. Sure, let's try Rock Frog. Thankfully, he has no Electro this uh, week. And since he does get invincible twice during this, uh, yeah, you know, obviously uh, it's going to be impossible to just one turn him. I guess we can try the Water Phase, although not everyone has their ult yet. I want to at least get Binny's ult before I try. All right, that should be coming up really soon. All right, we can do that. Then go to Mona. And then finally to her. Ah, she's missing her crits. She doesn't have that little crit rate. Get off my ring! Oh no! Yeah, she's dead. Forgot to get Zhongli shield first. Well, he is stomping into the next one, so... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so that obviously didn't turn out very well. Let's see what we got here. Some stuff. Nothing good. Whatever. Yeah, I guess she does only have 50% crit rate. Since she only has 100 crit damage, it's not really worth trying to bump that up a lot. Still, 100 crit damage, you know, if it doesn't crit, it's doing half the damage. I guess. I don't know. There are too many stats to keep track of. Oh yeah, now that we have five weekly bosses, two of them will cost 60. Uh, that's kind of hard. Like, should we even do all of them every week? Personally, I don't really need prototypes very much anymore. I still have like five of every prototype right now. So the dream solvents are always nice, of course. But yeah, I think what I got to work on the most is not trying to get every stack before doing her burst. I don't think it's really worth it. I think, you know, one cycle and then maybe trying to get another Binny boost for her herself for her ult damage would probably be the best. All right, we're going to wrap this up with a Masanori, I suppose. No one has their burst right now, so, you know, we got to kind of still prepare for all that. And then, yeah, preferably, I would like one more Binny burst, which actually would make it almost full anyway. Yeah, that might actually even be full. And then, of course, I need her burst, please. There we go. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's weird, like... Some of the attacks are really strong, and then some of them are like 3 and 4k. Oh, I might be seeing the uh, E, maybe. But all right, I suppose that'll pretty much do it. Did see some pretty fantastic numbers. Really, really impressed with her damage and her support abilities. I still haven't fully been able to get into the swing of the rotations, to be honest. Uh, like, it just doesn't feel fluid enough. It could also just be the team. Might need to work on that a little bit. I noticed with Water Dude, uh, rather than Mona, it worked a lot more smooth, and that's probably because Water Dude gets, you know, lots of orbs. Make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below, though. Dropping a like on this video if you did, and you enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.